for the smashing impact of the fifth atomic bomb, eight to seven ships take up positions in the now familiar Bikini Lagoon. Submarines are stationed below the surface to be tested against the first underwater atom blast. On Bikini Atoll, cameras are made ready to film the explosion. Their records will be vital to scientific research. Out in the lagoon lies the bomb raft, below which is suspended the atom bomb itself. Soon comes the signal, abandon ship, and each man is checked as the crews leave for the safety area many miles away. Admiral Parsons, atom chief for the Navy, reports to Admiral Blandy that all is ready in the target zone. Close by, the firing ship takes on board the scientific team who will time the experiment and set off the blast by radio beam. These are the instruments that will unleash the world's most deadly power against the modern armaments of every type of naval craft. One minute to go. Cameras and the eyes of the waiting fleet are trained on the blast point as the seconds go by, measuring the approach of a tremendous climax. Thirty seconds to go. Miles away, the tremendous roar of the explosion accompanies the typical mushroom shape of the atom blast, a sight which makes history for the motion picture camera. As he tells the nation that world peace is up to Russia,
President and Mrs. Eisenhower arrive for the annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony, where they are joined by Vice President and Mrs. Nixon. Before a crowd of thousands, the stage bears the traditional message of the season, and President Eisenhower delivers his own as he tells the nation that world peace is up to Russia. In the distance is a 60-foot spruce, which at the President's touch is illuminated with 9,000 lights. This tree is a symbol of the world's hopes, the hopes for peace. Well, now I feel like an asshole. When do you not? Almost always. I really like me. Baffling. Thank <laughs> you.